I'm Sean Bordner, and this week we're going to walk through setting up item level scheduling on a SharePoint 2010 document library. This of course allows us to upload files into a document library which can be scheduled to be published at a future date and time. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start out here in a project team site. And there's a site feature that you need to enable. So I'll go to site settings manage site features and it's the SharePoint server publishing site feature so we will click activate and the next step is let's just go ahead and create a document library so we'll go to site actions view all site content and I'll click on create and I will select document library give it a name I'll call this project docs click create and now we have our document library in SharePoint 2010 the next step here is we're going to need to go to the document library settings in the ribbon on the right hand side you'll see library settings we'll click on that and then from here there's a couple things first I want to add a totally different content type to this document library to use so to do that we'll need to go into advanced settings say allow management of content types say OK and then I want to go down here and add a new content type to this document library and the content type is called document scheduled so we will add that say OK. And let's get rid of the other one which is called document. So delete this content type, say OK. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is we need to go into versioning settings and make some changes here. If you want to enable item scheduling on a document library in SharePoint 2010, there's a couple things you need to do in the versioning settings section. We want to require content approval, we want to create major and minor versions. And I'm going to say OK. And now from here, the last thing we can do is manage item scheduling. Now this link will appear as soon as you did the first step that we did, which was enable the site feature. We activated a site feature called SharePoint Server Publishing. And when you activate that, now your document library has a manage item scheduling. We'll go into this link and we'll simply check enable scheduling of items in this list. Say OK. And that is really all there is to setting up the item scheduling on a document library. So let's go into our project docs. Doclib, add a new document, click browse, Grab a document, provide some comments, and say OK. And now you see we have the normal things, the name and the title. We have managed keywords, but we also have scheduling start date and scheduling end date. So I can say start this, click the calendar pick list on January the 27th and expire it never or no go ahead and expire this I know this document is going to be obsolete by the 30th hit save and that's all there is to it now because we're requiring approval this document will still need to be reviewed and approved and then it will hit the schedule start publish date and be made available to everybody who has read access on this document library and of course it will disappear after the end date it will still be here, it just will not be findable by end users other than whoever uploaded it and those with specific permissions to see it. So that's how you set up an item scheduling on a uh, SharePoint 2010 document library. And this has been the SUG.org's weekly video. Thank you.